Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alex is here with Oh Modesty. Well, today, as I said in my comments, that I have a lot of boxes to unbox. I just did one with Mass Monday Ladies, which was my beauty fix by the Derm Store. And today, what I want to do is I want to do a comparison. I have here my March Birch Box, which is all sample size items, and my March Macy's Beauty Box, which are also similar, okay? They're all travel size products, and they're two of like, and I'm gonna compare the two for you and see which is better, or which you think is better. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll be right back, so stay tuned. <laughs> back my beautiful wildflowers as I was saying I do have my fudge box and I do have my Macy's Beauty box and I'm really dying to open it. it's been sitting on my desk and I'm saying oh my god I'm getting so many stuff I also have some random uh, you know stuff that I gotten in a mail that I want to share with you and also my fragrance for the month so I gotta do that in a separate video because there's a lot to be done and so let's go ahead and jump into this but before we do that let's go ahead and do are motivations or affirmations and um, as I said in my last video I did go ahead and switch it over to affirmations which the difference between quotes and affirmations is the affirmation has an I statement in it it's something that I will do and it's a lot easier to sometime um they're usually simpler I should say and there's not a whole lot of um there's introspection but there's not a whole lot of trying to figure out what the author was saying right because with the quotes you wonder at uh, what circumstance did they say that right where it's an affirmation it's a simple i statement and i'm going to do this today i'm going to focus on this today because it's good for me so let's go ahead and find it and okay oh there's a cloud it looks like snow but i'm not sure there it is okay and it says I am in love with my work. Okay, I am in love with my work. That's different. You know what, but it's a good one though, because to be honest with you, I started really thinking about my work and about my career and why I'm in the career I'm in. Why did I become a nurse? And why did I decide to take the trajectory of patient safety or things that keeps the patient safe? And I'm gonna share something with you. I don't know if I've ever done that before, and not a lot of people know this and just a couple of reasons right and i'm putting myself out there as far as why i turn to um, patient safety or something that keeps patients safe as you know i'm the clinical director for um, risk management patient safety and infection prevention and control and for for two hospitals and um I do that work because I want to be able to protect patients globally or have a, you know, help my team do that, right? And I always aim to go that route. So when I was just a bedside nurse, I'm not going to say just a bedside nurse because bedside nursing is a lot harder, right? And um, I was in intensive care unit. I said to myself, I'm helping people as a nurse, yes, but I want to be able to do it more globally. And why do I want to do that? And I'm going to tell you why. It's because my mother, as you know, died of breast cancer, but she didn't have to. And it was because of a medical error. And uh, one of the physicians that she saw, we went with her with a complaint and I knew something else was wrong. And I kept saying, no, it's not just arthritis. She's having pain and, you know, and her shoulders, this is not normal. And the pain is just really, really bad. And they kept sending her back. No, it's arthritis, no arthritis. Give her pain medications. I said, enough is enough. So I talked to one of the physicians that I work with and uh, he got me in contact with the um, oncologist actually because my mother had a history many many years before that like 20 years prior of breast cancer and she was a survivor and so uh, I went to take her to the um, doctor the oncologist and he says I want to get a bone scan and it had been about a year since she's been you know being pushed back saying no it's just arthritis no it's just arthritis and I kept fighting back saying no it's not no it's not 
And so finally, this physician listened to us and they did a bone scan. And sure enough, my mother's cancer had come back in the other breast because she did have the first one removed. And, but it had come back, but by the time we discovered it, it had metastasized. In other words, it had spread to her bones. It was getting ready to get near her brain. It definitely touched her liver. And at this point, we knew we were in dire straits. And I was very sad about it because the one thing that the oncologist said was, had we picked this up a year ago, we'd be talking a different story and we should probably be looking at hospice. And here we are in shock because my mother is very active. I mean, she takes my daughter to the pond every day to feed the ducks with a bag of bread. And my daughter was five at the time. And um, my mother was, I mean, walking around all over, taking my daughter to park and everything because she lived with me. And then it was July 5th. I will never forget it. July 5th. Um, was the day that she got her diagnosis and then um, uh, she was dead by October 15th and that's how quick it was and we didn't know it was going to be that quick um, but um, I took care of my mother on hospice at home uh, with the help of um, friends, um, nursing friends and family. And she was, because she didn't want to go to the hospital, they wanted to, you know, prod and find out, what, you know, make sure what kind of a tumor is this, what kind of cancer is this, enough. Is this going to make a difference in her life? Is it going to make her better? Is it going to cure her? If the answer is no, then she's coming home. And so I took care of her and she died in her own bed, in her own room on a Sunday morning. And so, um, yeah, this is a reason why I do the work that I do. And this is why I am in love with my work because I know every day that I go to work, I try to make a difference in somebody's life and somebody's family. I mean, that person, every patient, either a mother or a father or a brother or a sister, or aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa. And sometimes, I mean, you, you know, people forget because if you, you've been doing bedside nursing for a long time, sometimes, I mean, to protect yourself, this is human. To protect yourself, you kind of remove that person and you're just taking care of a being and you just, because it's hard being a nurse. And those nurses out there that are listening to me know this, that it starts to hurt. In order to protect our own selves, we have to remove ourselves from it. And when I felt that pullback at the bedside one day, I said to myself, I need to move on. I, I'm not being helpful. And so this is when I went back to school and received my first master's and, and got my legal nursing and all of this stuff because of what happened to me. And so I am in love with my work and I want an organization to let me do my work and let me do it well because I know how to do it well. I've done it for too many years not to be. And um, I educated myself so I can help people. And But this is a reason why I am in love with my work. And sometimes I don't love the place that I do it at. And uh, But where I am now, I do love my job. They understand, they love the patients. We call them members and um, they care. They care about each individual member or patient. And so, and, and I'm happy to say I'm, I'm in a place where their mission, their vision is true and it aligns with mine. And so that's a long winded, I'm so sorry about that. But I wanted to give you a reason why, you know, I'm in love with my work. It's not just like, oh, I love my work because I get paid at the end of the day. You know, I'll be honest with you. If I could still survive and not get paid, I'd probably do the job anyway, because I do love my work. So, and I know that what I do every day makes a difference. So yeah, anyway, enough of that guys. Sorry about that rambling. So it's been a while since I talked to you. So I'm like, oh, let me talk to them. So anyway, two boxes. Which one do you want to do first? Let's do Birch Box first. Uh, because I'm going to save Macy's. It's almost like, you know, I'm one of those people that will eat everything on a plate that I don't really care about first and then save the perfect and my favorite to the last. That's me. I know there's people, my husband's the opposite. He'll eat whatever he loves first and then eat the rest later. But I'm like, yeah, but then I don't feel like eating and I won't eat it. And it's waste. So, yeah. Anyway, as you notice, I'm going real slow because this is the box that really messes me up every month and it doesn't open. So I'm trying to be gentle. I'm trying to get it open. And now I'm getting impatient because I'm dying to know what's in here. Okay, birch box. It comes a box within a box, as I say every month. And this is a pretty pink box. Oh wait, it's a slidey one. That's different. Sometimes they surprise me. You know, usually you just kind of lift the top and go boop. 
This one looks like a slidey one. Is it? No. Oh, it's a magnetic one. So I like that because these I'm going to tend to save and reuse, not just, you know, like a box. But, oh, look, nice. And it says, Happy Women History Month. Oh, that's right. We're in Women's History Month, guys. Yeah, it's time to celebrate women. That means they probably have things in here that be your own kind of woman, birch box. And it has one, two, three, four, five stuff, five items. And what does it say? Is it all women brands? I don't know. It says, while every month is a month to celebrate, in March, we cheer a little louder. This box help you flaunt your confidence as you connect with your true self and the other amazing women in your life. Okay. So that's a nice card, nice and bright, and it does tell you what's in the back. And so I'll be able to read that off to you. And I think they have prices for full size. Yes, they do. I like that. <laughs> okay. As you notice, it is old travel sizes. Take a look. Okay, and let's go. Start with the first one, and it is by One Kind. And that's a clean beauty. And this is a Dream Cream Nighttime Moisturizer with squalene and rosehip oil. Wow. Okay, there it is. Okay, and let's see what it says. One Kind. And Dream Cream Nighttime Moisturizer, full size is $38. This nighttime moisturizer locks in hydration as you sleep to ward off signs of aging like dullness and fine lines. So, okay. And it has one of those things that you go like that. And, oh, it's got a seal in it. Yay. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And that's that. And I'm going to go ahead and close it. Put that aside. And next, this is a weird box. Okay. There it is. It's got, it's, it's almost like one of those that it's got a tape on it, but I think, oh no. Oh, look, it's a pump. Huh? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Tell me what it is. This is stress check sleep spray. It's called this works and it is 97%, 97% of the people say they slept better. It is cruelty free, vegan and paraben, uh, phthalate and sulfate free. So what are you? Okay, it says, I'm going to have to, I'm going to hold it up, but I'm going to drift, I think, right? I always do. Okay, it says, Stress Check Sleep Spray, the uh, full size is $29. We're turning to this ultra relaxing pillow spray whenever we need to help you catch some snooze. It's packed with 100% pure essential oils, including calming lavender, patchouli, and chamomile, um, all of which work together to lull us to sleep faster and help us wake up feeling more refreshed. The proof is in the stats. 89% of users in an independent study fell asleep faster and 92% felt alert, more alert the next morning. Okay. Well, I don't know. When you give me stats like that and you don't give me the N, which means a denominator, how many people are we talking about? We're talking about 92% of five people or 500 people, right? So it is what it is. So hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sneeze, actually. I had it coming on. I'm like, mm, but yeah, I had to sneeze. Sorry. So yeah, so I'm not big on pillow spray, guys. And I'm going to pass this on only because I don't know. I, I don't like spraying things on my pillow because I'm afraid that it'll, I don't know, my pillow will smell funny after like, ah, who knows. So, but I don't like spraying stuff on my pillow. Plus, I hate the feeling of like humidness. And moisturize, I mean, moisturizers and things on a pillow drive me nuts. And this is like even more moisture. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it aside. Okay, the next thing I have here is by R&Co One Prep Spray. It's got like a dollar. Look at the, the thing, the wrapper. It's like a one dollar bill. Okay, so what does it say? It says, One Prep Spray, full size is $22. This nourishing spray protects hair from heat styling, brushing, and other potential damage. Plus, it helps other products adhere more evenly. So how are you supposed to use it? It says it's gluten-free, vegan, UV protection. Spray on generously. And what is the... That's all it says. But when do you use it? Is it after leave-on conditioner, I think? I guess so. And what is the full size is $22. You know, I'm going to try because I like heat protectants. Right now, I'm using the Oribe heat protectant. I also use the Redken um, heat protectant. Because um, when you have hair like this white, what happens is if you put too much heat on there, it starts to turn yellow. And so I always protect it with a heat, good heat protectant. And so I may just go ahead and give this a try and see if it works. Yeah. And next, we have 
the it's a moisturizer complexion boosting moisturizer called air repair and there it is and can you okay let's see air repair it's a skin care step three moisture this moisturizer instantly absorbed to repair dull hydrate dehydrated skin it's great for anyone but especially helpful while traveling when your complexion is stressed out from climate changes and the full size is is that 32 no 23 dollars is a full size so yep alrighty okay okay that's that and the next and the last thing in a box is by lucida biotin and collagen hair mask wow it's heavy heavy on hair stuff huh and this is for thin and dry hair well i don't have thin hair but i do tend to have dry hair about oily scalp if you know you know if that makes any sense but um, my scalp can get oily within three days of washing but my hair stays actually pretty dry so yeah odd right but i don't know and what does it say here there we go. I'm going to read to you what it says. Lucida Beauty Biotin and Collagen Hair Mask. Full size is $36. The Biotin and Collagen Hair Mask is beneficial treatment that should be used in conjunction with the Biotin and Collagen Shampoo and Conditioner. It helps to restore the natural nutrients the hair needs to grow thick and strong. Hair will be protected from harmful pollutants and environment as well as UV rays. Okay. Um, is this a protector? um it says how to use after cleansing with the lucida button and collagen shampoo apply generously and massage into damp hair and leave in for up to five minutes rinse thoroughly for best result use weekly on oily damage over processed or color treated hair you know i'm gonna go ahead and pass this on because it's like this is color safe for you know for colored hair and i don't have colored hair and so I'll go ahead and pass this on in one of the giveaways. Just throw it in as an extra. So yeah, well, that's that for, what was this? Birch box. And the birch box, actually, I paid about $8 for it because I had they had a special for the year. And then I got in on the um, annual and it broke down to about $8 a box. And so, you know, what do I think? I mean, there's a lot of hair things here today um, along with a, you know, air, what is that? air repair moisturizer for traveling and the one kind and this is the dream cream and the pillow spray he protected which i will use this one and the lucida which is unclear to me if it is a heat protectant because this is it protects against heat and uv and um also uh pollutants so i got a feeling this is not a heat protectant but it's just you know like sunscreen for your hair if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pass those on but i will go ahead and try this because this one does spell it out to say it is a heat protectant i'll look it up because i like to actually use the heat protectant that heat protects up to 450 degrees if not i don't put that kind of a heat on my hair but i like that and that's what oribe and also redken that's what it does so okay that's that keep in mind this is birch box and now say okay this is macy's and this is the other box that i tend to mess up i think this is the one i just supposed to like really rip into it and yeah and it comes wrapped in a pretty pink tissue and i hope i don't break my nails here i just had my nails done yesterday yeah and just to show you it's supposed to be gray but i had them put like these little artsy farty little golden i don't know you can't see it it's like a rose gold but this one is different i had little sparkles on there see so yeah anyway i got that done okay and here it is like i said it comes in pink tissue but you know what there's something extra in here today and something about girl power it looks like a little like a journal okay and of course you get your your um I, it's your coupon is what it is and what it is is you get a five dollar off any beauty product and it's good for uh let's see this is good until may 30th and so you don't have to buy whatever is in a box this is for any beauty product and i use this and five dollars is five dollars and it this box is fifteen dollars a month and really if you think about it you get five dollars or ten dollars off it depends on what month it is and um so you subtract i do i subtract that from the box i pay so i pay ten dollars for the box let's say and so yeah and it has about four or five different items and this one has five and an extra because this one is not actually 
and the uh, as part of it. So, all right, let's see. Let's take a look first and see what this is. You hear my husband vacuuming out there? He said he wasn't going to vacuum the third floor, but guess what? He's vacuuming the third floor. He's like, oh, I'm just going to do the first and the second floor, okay? I'm like, mm-hmm, okay, but he's right there. I think he might be doing the steps is what it is. Okay, it's just a lined notebook, which is kind of cute. You know, it's just like no book. And even though it's so cute, it's his girl power on it, I won't be using it. So I will probably go ahead and put this in a giveaway. So I'm going to put this back nicely back into the little sleeve. And I mean, you know, this is nice to kind of throw in your backpack and you write like notes like, oh my God, I need to write that number down. And yeah, I have, a, I have such thing in my bag, but I don't need another. So that's that. And I don't think that was part of it, right? No, it wasn't. Okay, that's just extra. Because what it says here is it does tell you what's inside. I don't want to show it to you, though. And it has actually the products. And do they have prices on these? I can't remember. Um, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, so there is one, two, three, four, five other things. And what it says about is Let's Go Girls. It's Women's History Month. You know what that means. Put in a brut, brut, brut. They're putting a bright spot, cheese, putting a bright spotlight on beauty items from female owned brands we absolutely adore. Okay, okay, Macy's, that's even better. Even though people say it's, you know, Women's um, History Month, but I'm not seeing like all women's stuff. And this one, it is. So, anyway, again, pretty in pink. And they come wrapped like this every month, that's why. And I really, really, really love this, this Macy's boxes because it's just, I don't know. They have good products and it's not something that's like, what is that? Or I never even heard of that. But you should think that is sold by Macy's. So more likely than not, you've heard of it. And if not, you can always go to the Macy's site and check it out. And so here it is. It's in a little, it's in a little, oh, I don't want to like, and it's gonna flip over. Okay, there it is. Okay, let me tell you what's in here. Okay, the first thing here is in a little, it's in a little jar. It's Oud de Perfume Roll-On. And this is Sea Salt Surf by Wood Cream Jasmine. Oh wait, it's company's called Sea Salt Surf and it's Wood Cream Jasmine, I think, right? Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> there it is. And it's supposed to be a roll-on, but I don't imagine there's a roll-on in here. I mean, this is not like... Ooh, it smells nice. Oh, you know what this smells like? I'll be honest with you. If you put this in front of my nose and made me close my eyes, I'm thinking coconuts and the islands. It smells so nice. Oh, my. Okay, hold on here. And it's who they... Uday uh, perfume. Oh, it's oily, which is nice. Oh, wow. It smells really nice. Wait a minute. What is that? What is that? Okay. It says Broken Top Candle Company. Okay. That's the name of it. Sea Salt Surf Uday Perfume Roll On Soft Calming and Made for Every Day. This coastal scent is a necessity for your morning routine. NCT oil, organic jojoba, and essential oils create a dynamic fragrance with notes of sea salt, jasmine, and wood. And it retails for $26 to full size. How to use, spritz onto pulse points or everywhere. We won't judge. So, okay, and it is a woman-owned company. Oh, this really, I mean, you know what, guys? I'm really kind of, kind of a, like a fragrance snob for lack of a better word, but this is actually very nice. This is something I would actually buy in a little roll-on and actually stick it in my bag. And like, if I decide, you know, my husband and I drive around sometime in the summer with the, with the convertible down and I'll be like, you know what, let's go to the beach. Grab that, put it on, and I'll be like, yay, let's go. Woo -woo. Anyway, yeah, that's that. So anyhow, next is by... Natasha Moore and it's called Warrior and it is something that I could always use. There it is and it is a makeup sponge and you know I have discovered a couple of makeup sponges that I love and I use the same one over and over again even though I have like 20 million of them. Seriously I have tons and but I always wash that when I use it and this feels like the same type of sponge because the kind that um, I used to pay $20 per sponge for 
what is that called? Um, a miracle sponge? I don't know. I forgot what that's called. Anyway, that really pulls in a lot of product. This sucks up a lot of product. And I noticed it when I went to wash the, you know, the sponge versus some of these like this. Um, they, they don't. So I like it. I like this. Look. You know what? I'm going to, am I going to open it? No, I'm not going to open it. Just in case I want to give it away. So, but it is nice. And I like that. And let's see what it says about it. Okay. It says, Natasha Moore Warrior Face Blender Sponge. An artist is nothing without the right tool. So get equipped with a microfiber makeup sponge that truly understands the assignment. The larger surface buffs and blends foundation to perfection while dedicated angles aid in precision with smaller under eye areas. And it is, it retails for $16. It's still a lot less than the, um, the other $20, yeah, the one that I don't really care for. They were the first in market, so that's the reason why they're so popular, but there's no reason why you should be paying $20 a sponge. Take my word for it, okay? I've used all kinds of different ones, and there's other good ones out there, and this is one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. And does that. And next is Girl, huh? Girl Attack. Girl Attack. Girl Attack. It's rose oil petal gloss. This looks like a full size, actually. Huh. Let's see. What what is this? Um, okay, it's probably lip gloss, you think? Come on out. <laughs> oh, 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 it's like a test tube. And look, it is like a lip gloss. Look, it's got a dose foot. You know what? I like lip glosses. I am going to keep this. So I'm going to open it and tell you what it's like. So it is Gir Girlatic Rose Oil Petal Gloss. Hear us out. A hydrating gloss that isn't sticky. Argon oil, raspberry seed oil, vitamin E, and jojoba oil come together in a high shine blend that boosts moisture and creates a glassy finish. And this is $20 and use it alone or layer it over your favorite color. This is not the full size actually, but let's see. I'm going to go ahead and try it because my lips are so dry. Ugh. It's really no fragrance and it is kind of like a rounded doe foot. It's not like a doe foot. It's almost like a lily foot when she had the bandage around her foot. Let's see. It is not sticky, I can say. Oh, it's nice and it's it's kind of like smooth like silicone, you know, like the silicone type base one. Yeah, I like this. Okay, this is good. I'm going to put this in my bag because, yeah, okay, I can throw that away because I'm going to put it in my bag. I always like this and I keep one actually in my office on my desk in my little coffee cup that I have. And I always like to have one in my bag. So that way, if I'm out there, even though I'm wearing a mask, while we're driving around in a car, I'm not wearing a mask. I just slide that on there. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Okay, next is this cute little thing. What is that? That is, oh, by uh, Nude Stick. I like Nude Stick. I have actually several of them. I gotta, I gotta drag them out because I actually like to use them in the summer when I'm not wearing foundation, I'm running around because I try to give my skin a break during the weekend because like now, because during the week I do wear makeup all five days. And so I like to, this is nice. Um, I like to really give my skin a break and Nude Stick is perfect for that. Um, all over face bronzer color. Okay. What does it say about it? Okay, nudie bronze, okay contour. We see you. Go for subtle or full blonde sculpted with a bronzing balm that's rich pigment but glides on skin like a sunkissed dream. Long wear formula keeps your skin flawless without the flakiness, so don't be shy. Snatch those cheekbones. $34, which is a full size, and that's the one that has the brush on the other end. But let's see, is this? I'm saying because I don't like my bronzer to be um, like really, uh, I don't think it's got shimmer to it. I think it is just a bronzer and it's actually a perfect color. Take a look. You see? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Do you like, I, I don't want to do, you know, and then end up, yeah. So, okay. That's not bad. Nude sticks. I do like nude sticks and I, like I said, I have a whole set of them. And the last thing in a box is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is something I do use. 
and it's a fine tip creating hair like strokes and it is the brow wiz skinny brow pencil and this is a medium brown yes that's my color there it is there it is uh here we go and i have the large one and i usually like to keep these for like when i'm traveling and one side is like a pencil and the other side is like a um a little um spoolie let me see if i can get it out of there and this is the color I use. Um, actually, I use ash brown, but me. Okay, guys, I don't know at what point it stopped. I looked up, it's like, I'm not recording now. You took longer than 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm moving, I'm moving. So anyway, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the eye line pencil that I do use. Spoolie on one side and a pencil on the other side. There it is, and it's a medium brown. So I do use this. And, but you know what? I, since I have one, I may go ahead and put it in the giveaway in case you guys want it. And yeah, it, but I do love it for travel because that way I'm not carrying a big stick. So, but we'll, we'll see. So that's it guys. That was it. So the comparison of, um, Birchbox and Macy's Beauty Box. So you remember what was in the Birchbox and, and the, uh, Macy's box was this Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is, great i love it and this uh warrior sponge okay and the new stick bronzer and this really nice little perfume and this is nice i seriously this is very nice oh it's, it so smells like the islands i feel like i'm in like bahama jamaica when i smell this oh so nice and it's clean so it is sea salt surf and it's made from you know natural ingredients and it's Uday perfume and the other thing here which i'm enjoying and i really like it because it's not running or it's not sticky it's more like a silicone and i do like this so yeah wow okay so what you think the comparison this box is 15 dollars, and you get a five dollar gift card to spend at a minimum sometimes you get 10 and um also, all the brands are sold at Macy's. And as far as the Birch Box, it is clean care this time. A lot of hair products. And I paid $8 for the box um, because it's on special. But I don't think you can get it for that anymore. You're probably looking at about $16 a box. And so tell me what you think. I mean, which box do you think was better? I definitely prefer the Macy's. And also, they gave me a little book. And so, yeah, tell me what your thoughts are and put it below. And if I added any value, guys, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you really like this type of product, no, content, please subscribe by looking for a button that looks like that up there. And it's going to be one below. If you would push it, it would turn gray and ring the bell and select all so you know every time I upload a brand new video. And I say this because sometimes, you know, most of you are like, okay, we know that. Who doesn't know that? To be honest with you, when I started watching YouTube a couple of years ago, I had no idea. I'm like, push the button, and I'm sitting there trying to push the button on the screen. And it's not working. So anyway, this is the reason why I do it, guys, okay? It's not to insult your intelligence. It really isn't. So anyway, guys, enough of that. So, alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers. Like I said, if I added value, please do hit like, okay? And remember, I'm trying to reach the 1,000 beautiful wildflowers mark, and I keep sliding down. I lost about, actually in the last 28 days, according to YouTube, I lost one subscriber. So I gained some, and I lost to a point where I'm negative one. But that's okay, guys, because I know I'm not putting out the daily content that I used to, and I do apologize for that, but I have to do what I have to do. Um, yeah, and I have to take care of me too, okay? And I want you to take that too hard because take care of yourself all right Alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers i want you to have a good day a good night a good week a good weekend it doesn't matter when you're watching this but what does matter though is in a field of roses be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff i'll see you soon bye bye <laughs>
the birch box because all the other stuff mm, oh no two things because this no no this never mind this came from my other box no one thing so and all the other stuff it's okay but it's just i don't know not my thing you know i have i have my own routine already and it's like mm, so yeah so guys um I still have a couple more boxes to open. I got to get this plant open because you're probably dying in there, poor thing. And I need to do that so I can order them. So, yeah. All right. I got to run, guys. I miss you all. Love you all. Take care. Be good. Be positive. Be happy. I'll see you soon. Mwah.